This is Jeopardy! And my cat knocking over my tripod. <sighs> do, 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 Trying to make a pickups video while my cat does battle, wages war with the tripod. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, right, so these are all complete uh, inbox pink apps. Um, mostly I brought them back from the US when I was there, I don't know, the end of August I guess is right. So yeah, and I'll try to tell you where I got them and stuff. <laughs> this is Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. And that's Alex Trebek. There you go. I'm not going to open them all because I'm not. I don't have a ton of Sega CD games, but I have, you know, a fair few. I've got Popful Mail, so that's something. And I think I have maybe all the shooters uh, for the US one, except I don't have, uh, of course, I won't be able to think of it. Okay, maybe I don't have them all, but I've got a lot of them. Yay. Anyway, I like Jeopardy, and it, this was really cheap. It was like five bucks or something. I got this at a game store with Mr. Dude. And also, let's do that. At a game store with Mr. Dude, I got this. Uh, I think Mr. Dude was like, dude, you should buy that game. It's kind of like Metal Slug. So I bought this game. And I can't remember. I think I played it a little bit. But, you know, played a lot of games and I lose track. Have you seen this alien? <clears throat> so, there you go. Disney's, I guess it's Lilo and Stitch. I always thought it was Lilo for some reason. And I bought this because also it was cheap and, you know, stuff. This seems like a pretty good game to have on the Game Boy, right? Because how long are you really going to play Centipede or Millipede, right? And I don't have hardly any boxed uh, North American Game Boy games. I've got a few Game Boy Advance ones, maybe 10 or 15, something like that. Okay, next, something a little bit more modern. This is a Xbox and Xbox 360 game. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure I already have it. I, maybe I just have the download. I'm not sure, but I played it a bit. Anyway, here's the disc. Uh, I didn't, they didn't put it in the box for me. I, I bought it because I thought the box was funky. Uh, I'd never seen this particular box, and I don't know why I didn't leave the disc there for you to look at. There you go. I'm, uh, just getting some sticker off of it. Anyway, whatever. So, it's, a uh, it's got a slip case, right? I got this at the game store with Mr. Dude too, and I, I was coming and hawing about this one, but I just was like, you know, I've never seen this before. I thought it was kind of neat. It's 3D. Ooh, kind of. And that's the case for the game. And I need to put the disc in there still. It opens vertically, and there's a bunch of paper stuff in there. What is all this? Oh, it's the manual. There you go. Sorry. Okay. So I'll put that away later to save time. Right, Whew, we're flying. Since I primarily bought this game for the packaging, I thought maybe I should actually show it. So that's obviously where the disc goes. I'll put that there. Uh, and then I showed this already, kind of the manual, it's full color. And there's the cat again. <clears throat> but this I forgot to show. It's a bonus disc. It says it's got Lego, okay, focus. Uh, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, and Xbox Live Arcade something. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to put it in and see what happens. And then just, yeah, the box is nice. You can see it's got a focus. Mm, there you go. A little flap here, and it's, it's artfully done. So it's a nice little box. Uh, another Game Boy Advance game. I ordered this online. I think I learned about it on a Metal Jesus Rocks video. Uh, it's still sealed. I don't know if I'll ever break the seal. I don't care. And I don't care if you care. So, whatever. I may and I may not. It's not like I can't just download the ROM. But, it's a shooter, so I had to hate it. Uh, <clears throat> when a double agent's allegiance begins to waver, the galaxy finds itself in a pretty precarious -re position. Um, a double agent's allegiance. Hmm. Okay, so there's that. Bam. Okay, and look at that, only five more. So I've got one Super Nintendo title. Uh, I believe I've collected all of the shoot-em-ups for the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo, but 
I don't have all obviously the variations from regions. And I didn't have this one, so now I do. Woohoo! It's Thunder Spirits. And not the best uh, port. <laughs> I believe this is basically a port of Thunder Force AC, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, the arcade game. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's got lots of slowdown and stuff. But I mean, I'll take it. I enjoy it. And it, it's just exciting to me. I have very, like maybe five or six uh, complete in box Super Nintendo games. I think this is missing the inner box, but I can maybe steal that from a different one. Looks like I paid $33.50 for that, so there you go. And I was happy to do it. Okay, next four NES games. Eh, here's one, Dragon Warrior. I've, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but... Oop, looks like the tripod's in the shot. Shacking. Uh, oop, it's gone now. <laughs> um, I was going to buy this... Back in the day, it was $49.95, and I went to the KB Toys in the shopping mall, and I was looking at it, and I saw that Tetris was $34.95, and I wanted that too, and then they had a bargain bin, and I got Faxanadu, Hector, and Zezzy's. Wow, I remembered all three, that's rare, um, for five bucks each. So for the same price, I got the four games, and I played a ton of Tetris, and then a fair amount of the other three games as well. I still remember the theme music and everything. So, and I, I think I've replaced all those in my collection, but not complete in box. Never did buy this one, but now I've got it complete in box. So, fancy that. I almost finished this game recently on iOS. I got to the very end, then I was just like, okay, this is just grinding and it's irritating, so I stopped. Um, so I guess I kind of almost finished an RPG. I'm afraid if I went back to it now, I might not be able to, but maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Was it on? Yeah, I think I started playing it on emulation, and then I saw that it was on iOS, and I went ahead and took the plunge. So, I uh, don't have a ton of NES boxed games, but I don't mind having them because it's nostalgic, and here's the most nostalgic of everything. And this box isn't perfect, and this game is <laughs> by no means rare. This is the third time I've had this complete in box. Uh, I went out, I'm pretty sure I bought this myself, or maybe it was like a birthday present. Anyway, and beat it straight away when it was, you know, new. And then I think I loaned it to somebody and it phew, disappeared. And then when my dad was getting married to his second wife, um, I was living with him at the time. She was, you know, trying to sort of, I don't know, make inroads with me, I guess. Just, you know, have a decent relationship. She knew I liked Nintendo games. I was, you know, a junior high school kid student then. Maybe high school. Maybe like a fresh, I don't know. Anyway, what, well, what year is it? It's 19, 1990. So yeah, I was like, I think when she bought it, I was a freshman in high school or about to be one. Anyway, I, I knew I already had it, but I wasn't sure where it was. And even then, at the young age of uh, 13 or 14, I thought maybe I should just keep this sealed because uh, I wasn't going to get rid of it because it was a gift. And then uh, play the other one. But I ended up opening it and playing it and losing it. <laughs> Probably, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know. Like, all my NES games disappeared. Then I had a collection again in college and I gave them to a friend. <sighs> the things we do for love. Right, so, it just, you know, I wanted to have this complete in box. And this and Dragon Warrior also came from a trade with Bailey Routabush. So, yay. And he included the case deal there. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. The next two I bought uh, online... I'm not sure that I got good deals on them. I don't really care. Um, let's see, I'll show you this one first. For some reason, I thought this was more kind of sought after than it is rare or whatever. And I have it on the Xbox One Rare Replay. <laughs> I said rare. Uh, the thing is, I was playing it the other day, and it was more fun than I remembered it being. I just thought it was, you know, stupid difficult. But I was really enjoying it. So, yay for that. This has been resealed, and I just haven't gotten around to opening it again. Because, you know, I already have the Japanese version as well, which that reminds me. I should show those two. Maybe I'll throw those in too because they're right over there. Oh, okay. In fact, um, hold that thought. Bam. There you go. Side by side. And as I bring out these Famicom games, I feel like I might have shown them before. So I'll just go wicked fast. Or maybe I made a video and then never uploaded it. Who knows? I'm senile. I'm not getting senile. I am senile. So, front of the box. I don't remember if I showed the back of these boxes. Oh, I'm losing my mind. 
So there's the Famicom one. This one's a, a bit harder to get a hold of than the eh, NES one. Like everybody hasn't seen this before, right? Yeah, I think I did show the back. Oh well, I'm showing them again. All right, so then uh, I'll show you some Famicom games that I don't know if I've shown before, and uh, quickly, and then one kind of grand finale NES boxed game. Okay, so I bought a bunch of Famicom games. Where the heck? Well, I'll just go through them. Oh, look at that. I could do another side by side. There you go. <laughs> so I got Millipede. Yay. And then Astro Fang. It's kind of far away, hey. 3D car action game. I played a bit of this. You're driving a car and you're shooting stuff. It's not horrible. This game I shouldn't have bought, but I was trying to get a deal. And, uh, oh, now I realize. Well, anyway, I was trying to get a deal and I just ended up getting this as part of it. But this is not something I'm going to play probably ever. It's just got too much text, but it does have a very interesting uh, label. Maybe I should get that really close. <clears throat> I don't think it, the camera can handle it. <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with the game, but I try to avoid the heavy text-based games in any language, including Japanese, of course. Uh, Robocop 2. This one has a little mark on the back. Shaggy. Uh, huh. What do we have here? This is Peepar time. And I think I played all of these because um, I was putting them into my Retro Freak and I played each one as I went. I'm trying to remember what this was like, but I think it's basically a puzzle platformer, but it's escaping me at the moment what it was like. Okay, here's one. <clears throat> I think I bought this just because it had the manual and I thought that was cool and it was cheap. So there you go. Three bare bones manuals for most of these Famicom games. Not that you need a lot of a manual really for Karate Ka. And, oop, it's in the frame, shocking. Layla. Layla. Okay, whichever. Um, <laughs> is a game. It's a platforming game. It's uh, also not horrible. So, now it's mine. This is uh, a shoot 'em up that I've been after for a while. Finally got it. Got some slight label damage. But, um, yeah. I can't remember what I thought of that when I played it, but I think I was slightly disappointed. I've just been wanting it for too long, basically. This is Perman and Perman 2. Again, I can't remember what these are like, but all of them except for the Outlanders one I bought because I thought I would play them. So if that tells you anything. Usually that means they're platformy action games or shoot 'em ups. And then I had these when I went to the other house, I found them and I thought, nah, I'd like to keep these uh, at this house. So this is, um, it's basically a tape case, but it says, you know, family computer on it. And this is a copy of, yeah, I've got lots of these, Super Mario Brothers, with the manual. So, I thought that was neat, something that I wanted to keep here. And then here's an, a similar thing, except it's Tetris, and it's still got, it was 100 yen at hard off, even though it had the manual. And I haven't taken it out yet, so I'm just not a bother at the moment, but there you go, it's Tetris. And then this is a, another game that I got at the same place that I got these other Famicom games besides the last two that I showed. And I just put it in one of these things because I had it on hand. Max Warrior! And this is an isometric kind of walking shooter. I can't decide what I think of it, but you shoot, you walk and shoot and jump. And maybe if I get the hang of it, I could learn to like it, but I'm not sure. They had another game, I want to say form, Battle Formation maybe? And it was like $500 complete in box. And uh, I played it in Braum and I was like, wow, I, I wasn't tempted to buy that, but I'm super glad I didn't. And then, again, I can't remember if I showed this, but it was 15 bucks. I remember talking about this, but whatever. This is uh, one of those Game Boy cartridges they also have for the Super Famicom, where you could put games onto it. And I bought it because I didn't have one of these in my collection, but this also happens to have Rockman World 2, and another game that's good, but I don't remember what it is. And then last thing, because it's getting long, keep it under 15 minutes, I hope. 
This is a sealed NES game. Not sealed, I'm lying. It's complete inbox NES game. Uh, I think I have, well, I ordered Ninja Gaiden 3. I paid a bit for it, but I still got a good deal. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it ever was delivered or what happened, but I bought it on eBay, had it shipped to my house in the US, and then who knows. So that sucks. But I took a chance on this because I got a good deal, and it did come. And it was in a box, well protected, so good job, seller. And, you know, it's Felix the Cat. Late release for the NES. Good platformer. And now it's mine. So, yay. Thank you for watching, and there's Felix the Cat and Onigiri the Cat in the same shot. Hey, say something. Okay, don't. No. Bye bye one last thing, this also came in the mail today. I ordered it months ago. I had this already in the US, uh, but I didn't bring it because it was big and heavy. And I don't mind buying it a second time because the author is a friend of mine. So there you go. Bam! It's, well, where should I show it? It's the Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. And I'm uh, halfway through the third book of the Lightbringer, I think that's what it's called, series. Book four, I think, is about to or just came out, one of the, one or the other. I'm reading it on Kindle. Uh, hello, what's happening? <laughs> so in between book four and the final one, book five, I'll probably read this to, uh, you know, give me something else to read. But uh, right, anyway, so yay. <laughs> okay, for reals, bye bye For reals, for reals is, for reals is, for reals, for reals. <laughs> Maybe not. What? What's going on? Oni! Oni! oni -chan. You're looking at the wrong thing. You're supposed to look at the camera, dummy. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 My cat pushed the record button. <laughs> Good job. Who's a lazy anti-social kitty? Who's a lazy anti-social kitty? Is that you? Kuruton, yes, lazy and the social kitty. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Say bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.